In Chapter 7 of Egyptian Oedipus, Stolzenberg discusses the basic principles that form Kircher's understanding of hieroglyphics and how he attempted to defend his claims against critics. From Kircher's point of view, the hieroglyphics left behind from ancient Egyptians contained an encoded profound wisdom. He also believes that the hier hieroglyphics were to be understood as a non-discursive language, this meaning they have no grammar and syntax. When translating hieroglyphics, Kircher would divide inscriptions into groups he called hierograms. He then labeled the hierograms with numbers, which referred to a book that described the relevant symbolism. With the belief that the hieroglyphics were non-discursive, Kircher was able to derive any definition he pleased in his translations, but critics soon caught on and started to object. Many critics found that Kircher's translations were unconvincing because they believed symbolisms were by nature susceptible susceptible to biased interpretations. In consideration to this, Kircher was relentless in providing references in his translations to historical literature that, that defined the significance of symbols similar to those in the hieroglyphics he was translating. By offering up numerous references to historical literature, Kircher claimed his interpretations were correct because they were based on credible textual references. Kircher saw the hieroglyphics as a non-discursive language and took that as an opportunity to interpret them in ways which favored his belief of the Prisca theologia. Within his translations, Kircher included ample amounts of credible textual references that he used in an attempt to add reliability to his translations. Through the reconstruction of these textual references, Kircher was able to interpret the ancient hieroglyphics in such a way that attempted to make way for the spread of Catholicism.